Hello, this is Robin with Can't Wait Smells Great. Um, I want to thank all of y'all that are following me and liking my videos and commenting on them everything. That really helps a lot. And then, like, if I do a recipe and you have a good idea, put it in the comments because we all like to share, you know, if we can try a recipe different. Um, I wanted to tell y'all a little bit about what I ate last week. Um, I cooked, I think it was Monday. I took uh, the noodle zucchini that you find in the freezer section and um, put it in the oven, however long it said go. And then I worked on my sauce and all I used was this small can of tomato sauce and a small can of diced tomatoes. Um, and then I put about maybe a tablespoon to two tablespoons of Italian seasonings in it. And I put a small can of the mushrooms. And I stirred that stuff up, got a bowl and, you know, a little bit simmering. And um, when the noodles came out, I didn't use the right uh, kitchen utensil. <laughs> it took me forever to get all those noodles out of there. Because they have a, they, while they cook in the microwave, their uh, water's coming out of the zucchini. So it's a, a lot of water in the bottom of it, you know. So I couldn't just pour it straight in. Well, I ate on that for about three days. And I think the third day I had been able to go to the grocery store and I um, cooked up two of the Johnsonville brats and I got the jalapeno and cheddar and I just cut them up and um, let them fry and put them over top of the zucchini and sauce that I had made and then I put a little little bit of cheddar cheese y'all know I like cheese and that was good I did that two days I think um, and then let's see what did I do Saturday? I might have to get my book. <laughs> uh, let's see. Good grief. Um, that's March. All right, April thirteenth, and it's it was day two hundred and twenty-eight that I've been on the keto lifestyle. Um, I ate keto waffles that morning with sugar-free syrup, and I had planned not to eat anything else because I ate that kind of early, um, but I got a little hungry, and I fixed, um, I ate two of, no, one of those little small bags of, about like that, they don't have, but about 10 almonds in it, and then I ate some sugar-free jello. And before I went to bed, I was still hungry um, and I ate an avocado and had lots of water. Um, and I haven't put them in chronometer to see what my, my values are. I'm just kind of winging it right now. My scales broke, so I don't know what I weigh. Um, Sunday, April 14th, day 229, I had an avocado and coffee for breakfast and then for supper. Well, later I had sugar-free jello and two packs of almonds. And for supper, I ate uh, two Johnson Real brats. Um, and I fixed rice, broccoli, and cauliflower, and I added butter and cheese to that. That was really good. Um, and then today, all I've had, I did have a coffee, and um, I fixed an avocado. And it was pretty good. So I think I'm doing pretty good trying to... Pay attention to the artificial sweeteners and the cream. I, you know, I love heavy cream. I can drink the whole carton. Um, so I'm restraining myself right now and putting, um, using the measurer to put it in, uh, like two tablespoons of cream to one packet of stevia. Stevia? No. What's the word? Oh, well, I can't remember, but it's the one that we all use. Um, 
That's how my brain's been. I can't remember. See my eye? It's still black. It's going away, though. Um, I did talk to my insurance nurse. And she said for me to go to the ER because I have a spot right here on my brow. You know, there at the beginning I couldn't touch my eyebrow because that's where it cut my it cut it cut right there, and I couldn't touch it. But now that I can touch it, I can feel there's a hard place like your your bones. There's a hard place right there, and it's raised up right there. And that's where I hit it first. And um, I'm worried about it because this side don't feel that way. And it's not blood from the hematoma because it ain't squishy. It's hard, just like a bone. So she told me to go to the ER and get it checked. I should have got it checked the night that I fell. But I was hurting and ready to go to bed. <laughs> yep. And I'm sure I had a concussion, you know, um, but I woke up every day, thank God. Um, just y'all, if any of y'all are like me, just be careful. And it really woke me up to how much more careful I need to be. Um, so this week, Friday, I turned 50. I joined the 50-year-old folks. And... Um, I'm getting ready to go to my daughter's on, I'm going to leave on Wednesday, um, and go see her for about five days, and, you know, I'll be down there for my birthday, so I don't know what she's got planned, but I'm excited, and I will probably uh, do some of these little short ones while I'm traveling and let y'all see things that I'm going through or whatever, you know, if, if I... Because I'll be going by myself, you know, and if I can hold this thing up and talk, that keeps me awake. <laughs> oh, me. But anyway, thank y'all for listening, and I hope y'all are having a blessed day. Um, last night, we were under the tornado warnings for so long, and right before I went to bed, it start, it just poured the hail, and then the water came, and winds came with it, and you know, then it kept on going. It didn't hurt anything here. Um, I saw going to the doctor, there was a couple of trees down in the road and they were cleaning them up. So anyway, I'll, um, me and Aaron may cook together and have a little duo, uh, video. So look for that. Cause she really, she started keto before me. And she sent me pictures of some of the things that she's cooked. So she's going to get in front of the camera whether she knows it or not. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Love you all.